have bags I've been seeing all over that I am totally interested in and I want to share those bags that I am loving right now. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. And yes, I'm in the same shirt because I'm filming the bags that I have been loving the same time that my recap of June has gone. So again, thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave. So today is about all these great purses that I'm not buying yet. Keyword yet. <laughs> I'm staying strong in June. These are just bags that I have come across that I really like. And I'll be popping up pictures of the beautiful bags that I've seen. And let me know down below if you've seen these same bags or if you own any of them. Let me know if you like them. Now, without further ado, the bags I am loving. First one is, I have been on the real real looking at different brands and different bags on that website and I came across a bag that the real real doesn't ever put the name of the bags so you can always take a picture of it and put it in your Google app and it will pop up the name so I found out the name it's a Michael Kors downtown Aster and I would I will pop up the picture I can't tell if the color is like a camel yellow or brown light brown I cannot tell but I really like that it has the two handles I love the the leather looks really soft and it comes with a chain leather strap so I'm really liking that bag I don't know a lot about it I tried to look up videos on it I didn't see any and I think there are two sizes so there's a medium and a large and I don't want the large I want the medium size so that bag is it looks like it's a beautiful bag if you have that bag let me know down below and another Michael Kors is the Laney medium leather crossbody in the color pool and it looks like a fabulous color I do not have that color in my collection it looks gorgeous it's uh, the leather I think it's I believe it's pebble green I'm not sure on that one but it is a gorgeous color and it's not a bad price right now but again these are bags I'm loving but not buying and the next one is a coach bag that I felt I felt in store I touched the leather it is amazing quality it is the coach Lana 23 and they have the shoulder version and they have the 23 version. I want the 23 version. That leather is so soft, pebbled leather, and the quality is amazing. So I have that on a wish list, but the price for me is just, I'm not buying that kind of price right now. But if it does go on a major sale, I'm probably going to grab one. I like the color stone. Uh, but I would be open to other colors besides that light cream color. So yeah, that bag is beautiful and I can tell there is, it is excellent quality. So that is a bag I'm loving for sure. This other one is a bag I've been seeing more and more lately and it's, I don't know the brand that it's the dupe for, but I know there's Olita and I'll pop a picture here. And that's a little bit pricier, you know, than I want to pay for it. The style is so cute. And I don't know how big it is. I don't know the quality. But there's one, a dupe on Amazon that I really like. And it's light purple, like a lilac color. And I don't have anything that has zippers like it has on it. It looks like it's a comfortable carry, not too big, not too small. It has a top handle and a crossbody. It looks like my optimal bag, but I can't decide on a color necessarily. I want to put a lilac 
colored in purse in my collection. It's just really hard for me to do it. <laughs> but that is definitely one that is on my radar. The next bag may kind of surprise you. It's uh, a Chloe Marcy in the medium size. I saw Lo Yay Yay. I'll put her channel down below. She has one of these bags and I just love all the detail on this bag. I would want like a dark brown chocolate cover color and I love the handles. I love the look of it. The price isn't so bad on those right now that I would be tempted to buy one of those because of the leather and the quality. I just think they're beautiful and everything about it. So that one's kind of been on my, my radar as well. And another little pricier one would be the Mini Alexa, the Mulberry Mini Alexa, but that's again a little bit above what I want to even pay right now in these times. I mean, I'm trying to do a low buy as well as a no buy <laughs> June. So low buy meaning the rest of the year I'm going to be very selective on what I choose. <laughs> and then I keep seeing Amazon dupes and favorites videos and this puzzle bag that looks like the Loay puzzle bag keeps popping up. I really want to try it out but I also don't necessarily want the PU version. I want the leather version on Tiffany and Fred. So they have a sale right now, but I am not buying it, even though it's a good sale. <laughs> That's the hard part about no buy. <laughs> but I really am interested in the puzzle bag. I don't know how functional or how much I would like getting in and out of it, but I still like the look of it. So that is definitely one, definitely not the Loay puzzle bag, but the dupe. <laughs> I also have been looking on the Real Real for another Tory Burch bag. I want a leather version. I want a flap bag, but I want it to be a soft pebbled leather, light brown, crossbody. And I like this one right here that's on the Real Real right now, the Real Real right now. <laughs> And it is not a bad price. Looks like it's in good condition. So I want to add some kind of Tory Burch leather bag in my collection. This is another one and it's on Amazon. It's a woven bag that I have had my eye on off and on. And it looks like it's in good quality. I like the look of it and I like that it's a full flap with magnetic closure crossbody. I just really like the look of woven bags. Unfortunately, my my hobo coal bag didn't work out for me. So I'm still looking for another woven bag but with bigger weaves, not the small weaves. So that's another one that I'm loving. And I also am still on the hunt for the perfect vintage Fendi mini toad or satchel type of bag with the Zuka print. I have found a couple that I really like and they're not any more than three to four hundred dollars. I'm really tempted by those. I again maybe those are later on purchases maybe Christmas who knows but I still want the FF Zuka print in some kind of vintage Fendi. And this next one is a Celine boogie bag and I've seen Melissa from Melissa's Corner and Caleb Snell have this boogie bag and it's just a little satchel top handles and those are reasonably priced and they look like they fit a lot. The leather looks really nice. There's so many versions of this bag. There's stitching, different colors, different on the real real there's different conditions and but they're not that bad of price so I still I, I like the look of those bags. <clears throat> and the final one that I have found on again the real real is a Gucci bag and it's a vintage style with a shoulder strap it reminds me of my Louis Vuitton Viva City GM, but this is the Gucci. It's the Gucci bag with the stripes and the 
uh, Gigi's logo on it. It looks like the perfect bag and it's not extremely high priced and I still don't own a Gucci so that's one that I've been eyeing as well. So those are just a few of the bags I've been loving and looking at lately. Tell me what you've been interested in or are you on a no buy? <laughs> Let me know down below of bags that I mentioned. If you have any of those, let me know what you think of them or how they work for you. I appreciate you all for watching my channel and if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's free and I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers so I'm on my way and uh, don't forget to hit the bell and share my channel if you know other handbag lovers. And I am currently in my Louis Vuitton Petite Noé and I'm going to take it out this week so I hope to enjoy that carry because <laughs> it's not raining and it's no rain in the forecast. I don't know about you all but have you been getting a ton of rain? We have been having floodings and everything but anyway thank you for stopping by my channel and I appreciate all my new subscribers that have come over and welcome and uh, until next time I'll talk to you soon. Bye!